if this open reach engineer had parked his van somewhere other than, I assume, beside the Incredible Hulk's bed stand. <laughs> oh, freaking thing won't start. When are you going to lift my micro? Didn't know I could sew, did ya? So maybe it is frozen carrots. Why do they always make that crunchy noise? <laughs> They've lost all my business now. The best car bought and best car sold. We've bought quite a few vans. Today we've got an MOT, we've got the Duke potentially came back in, I haven't seen it yet, for its lower arm and tyre that she failed her MOT last week. The customer one, not ours. Right. I can't remember what else it was. Uh, oh, the guy coming in with his Octavia saying he thinks it's getting hot. Oh, uh, yeah, he's convinced himself the head gasket's gone on that because there's a bit of mayonnaise around the. I think he might just need an oil seal around the cap, like, blah, blah, blah. Um, other than that, obviously, we've still got the engine. Uh, I've had a couple of texts this morning. The lady with the Cougar's emailed actually. She said, yeah, pick up the Cougar yeah. anytime. Yeah, I, so I told her to pick it up in the afternoon, but as soon as they're free, with whatever else they've done, because one of them's coming off the Blackbush, one of them's free. Also, Kashkai M, I think you need to come and collect the cars. It's starting to make a bad knocking noise to the extent I'm now scared to drive it. Now, I've got to go back to so we don't have recovery service, but find out where she is. Okay. Uh, yeah, just wait for the Vitara and the Golf bits to come back. So there's nothing else going out as far as valid interview got a plan or what you want to do? No, uh, sort out the value money, first thing. And then Chrysler's done, ready to go. I'll do that. And then continue with, have we got anything going out soon? Uh, the, also, the, the, I've got the clearance back now, which needs a PDI, a service, I believe. But obviously that not going to be booked in. Uh, that'll be the next one, probably. Yeah. Well, that's fairly tidy anyway, so yeah. just be cracking on with the new stock. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right. We need to go to Western. Okay. Get here, box. Alright. Uh, yes, well, one of the lads will be here. That's what I'm going to do today. Find some cash on it. Let's try the other one. Check him on we'll leave it around. Nothing's working, no. Unless the pins are different. Maybe they're not gonna go. Because they are there. Got it in finally. Just got to feed all the wiring harnesses and the the hoses now. And then.
Yeah, it looks like that. I'll probably see it like that. Break of horror is then? Uh, lower than this. So basically, when you tow, this is too high. The rear pick of a Ford Transit customer is 2.2 ton, so it makes the Navara squat like it's doing a wheelie. So much lock tight, Josh. Yeah, well, I've never I seen. I don't want it falling off. Yeah, it takes. You no, know, lock tight takes a long time to do it. Yeah, but I've just parked a smart car outside, keyed on the roof. That's basically right. Yeah, that's fine. 
but it's just the seat rails, so you see we're coming back and forward, just got to get that freed up, otherwise it's sold and gone, and that's the last thing. Our convertible roof's hard to clean. Yeah, I mean, spent ages cleaning it yesterday, and it's still got moss in the creases and stuff like that. If you're gonna have one, look after it. All vag frameless doors, the windows drop over time because they have to, like yeah. they have to drop to open the door. Um, but if you come and look at this side, the window drops and the inside gets wet. So it drops over time as well because it's constantly up and down, it loses this adjustment. So, try it about if you can. Just ask it. Yeah, yeah.
No. I think I would be if I was cleaning a car, just the fact that it's a massive van with loads of grime and everything on it. If this open reach engineer had parked his van somewhere other than, I assume beside the Incredible Hulk's bed stand, <laughs> which is covered in green jizz, um, it wouldn't be so bad. I quite enjoy doing commercials because they clean up well, do you know what I mean? From looking like a crappy van to quite nice. So, at least this one we haven't got to do the roof on. Well, you can't see the roof because it's so high, so as long as Toby doesn't get any drone shots over it, we'll be laughing. Move that one forward, you're gonna give it another. Yeah, I've got to go over with the brush and everything. Yeah, I'm tempted to go and get a new brush because this is fucking useless. And obviously, it's tiny, so I might go up to a proper job for me. Do we yeah, do... it could be pulled forward so you can pull your van right up. Obviously, yours isn't gonna come no. in. No, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we'll do that then. Um, and I'll. Sounds good. And I'll just press wash all the stuff off there. Can do it all. Multifaceted. Huge point in doing the windscreen because it's getting replaced tomorrow. But I didn't forget to mention that, correct? You forgot to mention? Yeah. Fire. I'm assuming it was on the um, script when you purchased it. You know what they say about assumptions? You know what happens? What they say about when you assume? You make an ass of you and me. Well, I'd hope BCA. I mean, it's visible for <laughs> two meters. Isn't assume it? is spelled ass, you, me. When you assume you make an ass of you and me. I'm never going to say. Or assumption is the mother of all fuck ups, that's the one I did. But it's from two meters, isn't it? Well, they can see from two meters. Yeah, we've put the little trims out, that's all right. We've got to get it inside yet and do the inside and get some of the glue and stuff off. Look at him go! Get in there. When's it getting started? Pardon? When's it getting started? When? When I'm ready to start it. I don't know what happened. Well, that's a damn question. Get a straight answer, did you? When it's ready to be started. When's it going to start? That's like when it's dinner ready. Exactly. <laughs> when it's ready. Jason's got to get back out shortly, so. Yeah, that's fine. They yep. paint the wheels on that. Yeah, um, is that all okay over there? The transits on the end. Uh, or should I move? Yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Yeah, because Jason's just taking lunch and he's going to. Um, should we go and pick up the. Uh, three cars? Two, isn't it? Oh, yeah, three, yeah. Three, yeah. Three, yeah. Then we've got to get you to do that. Well, apparently, Jordan says they've pulled. That's sweet. Yeah, go put those up. Do we need to paint any wheels or anything? Well, you have to come with me to do that, won't you? And, yeah, yeah. Um, Sounds and, like a plan. And Tobes, seeing as Jordan's on a mission. Big, big Tobes. And then, tell you what, I'll drive. I'll drive the Tornado down there because yeah. I like it. And you two I, can I... hop out and bring the bad boys back. Sounds good. Let's then, go get some trade plates then. Then we need to get you to drop the Cougar back. Yep, right too. Uh, it's only like Webmore or whatever. Not Webmore even. By my house, not really miles oh, from my house. Not far at all. Um, but you, have, you, you haven't got a trade or anything, today, have you? No. 
Your watch is knackered. Yeah. Yeah, I went in the hot tub with it. Ah. I ruined it. Josh's hot tub. Yeah, not mine. I'm not rich enough to own a hot tub. Don't use Uncle Josh's. I guess um, everyone in his hot tub. It's a bit weird. Not me. Uh, has he asked you? No. Rude, really. Won't be long. Won't be long. Mm. I'm fine, thank you. I've got, I've got oh, jobs oh, to do. Right, We're busy working. We're so out of here. Bloody nightmare. Not only have we sold the toilet, within a week and then they unsold it. They cocked on the deal. Now the freaking thing won't start. Good luck. Like, they watch them, like. <laughs> I blame my cooler. You do look a bit like David Hasselhoff, do you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I look just like you. <laughs> Don't hassle the half. It works. What does? Yeah. That's not very good. No. Sound button is on the high button. Well, it's fine the way back. What's that tattoo? Scott in Newcastle. <laughs> He's not called Scott after Scott Walker. That means he can spot 62 Didn't know I could so did ya Well I mean yeah, I'm not saying I'm excellent but there was a hole here 
Just stitch it up, make it look a bit nicer. Because when you come in, you see it pulling apart. It doesn't look very nice, does it? This happens a lot on vans because you've got big lads like me, tradesmen and that, getting in proper men, sliding on the seat and it gets worn out. So then you get a little man like me with a sewing needle. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I like to stitch with the two sides together, loop through, and it's like a running knot. Got no what? No, I don't. Um, okay, where's Macaulay or Josh? Because one of them should be here. Nothing. So we keep the guns, mate. <laughs> oh, there's two 12 volt. Oh, okay. So there's cigarette lighters up there. So I guess you can charge your back to res in there. That'll be for this one. Put all your power tools in there, I guess. So if you are looking for a Vavaro van, you want one that's got a tool, safe, and a battery charging safe. Safe? Safe? We've got you covered. I know, I just rubbed it on with my poo brush. And Stuff this gel sole from Auto Smart. It's like a glue and tar remover for someone jumps in the comments and use glue and tar remover. We've got that as well, but this is good stuff for getting off sticky residues.
available now. Shifting metal, that's where you can. Is that the blue one? We'll get that in there next if you want. Okay, I'll do the white part up front then. Oh, that hasn't out. been cleaned inside. This one's pretty much about to come out. If, okay. if you can take pictures of it here, then go ahead. But. to Puma Speed or whoever spied the engine. Yeah, we didn't, I mean, obviously. What'd you say, what would be the first thing to check? Or explain I mean, the situation about different bits, or? I, I just wondered, is there a difference in what? I don't know. Well, that's what you have to ask them, I guess, and yeah. explain the. Uh, is the housing we've got no longer compatible? With I that? certainly don't have the answer, so we're going to have to speak to someone who might. Um, do you have the paperwork for the engine? Um, no, Dan ordered it. I don't know if there's a uh, email somewhere, Dan. Looking good. Mm. Fantabulous. See what we've got to say for beams, right, that'll do. Don't worry about wiping it down with anything else or whatever. Continue about the rain anyway. The windscreen's getting changed today anyway. Throw them at Toby. We can all have a go. There's four of them. I've been promoted to Valator because we've got no cars that need moving currently. Joe wants us leaving a day free for Barrow stuff, but sadly there's no Barrow stuff today, so I'm Valator. Jason said about the price, that was nuts. Yeah, I did, I did quite a bit of research, so I did It's for the Mercedes CLA that we've sold. Yeah. How cool is this? There's safes under the seat. Everything we're buying has got safes in. Oh, an empty plastic bag. I wonder if we got keys for this. Is there keys in the ignition? Nice. We've got safe under the seat there. No way, I didn't realise you meant that. They've got, they got like a whole like data cabinet, isn't it? With uh oh, no like way. Like, you got keys for the safe. 
you know when you watch those movies and someone's outside of in a in a, in a van that says like and they're like they're like, and they've got like a whole data cabinet whatever they're spying on you. That's. Oh, the truck just pulled up, does it? Mm. Yeah. 9-11 for you. Customer rejection. Said they, they're struggling at the truck sign to farm and stuff, they're going to tell you the farmer, do we need them to do anything else first thing? And I was like, not to my line away, maybe with Joe, then a female zone, then I was in. Why are they calling you, eh? I know. I said, well, there's nothing I'm aware of, nothing Dan's aware of. Maybe speak to the person who pays your wages. Yeah, that would be the obvious <laughs> choice, wouldn't it? <laughs> So, so what are they doing? They're having problems with. They're tidy, apparently they're tidying up. They're, they reckon they're trying to get trucked in and out because they're not doing shit. And we saw them with Varo yesterday. What was the last one? It seemed like it was, but it wasn't. Where's Julie? I said no. Oh. Oh. He, he, he came in late and didn't say anything about it, even though I was just followed him in. And I was like, you're going to say sorry for not coming in? And he's like, Oh, sorry, I'm lucky I'm here today. I feel so proud to say go in then. Just fuck off. You're lucky that I'm here. He, he, te he texted me as I was driving off to say he's going to be late. So that meant he texted why me. Why is everyone not messaging me? <laughs> I don't understand why he texted me. <laughs> so I don't understand why he didn't text me. I, 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 just, I'm, but, no, but the other thing I know I can be, be straight with people, but now I'm the most easygoing <laughs> boss there is. People are like, I'm going to be late, alright, no worries. Well, we're all going to just text Toby now. It means he texts me once he's right in the future. Message me, please, if there's something to do with this shit. This message, I might be five minutes late. I should reply about saying, well, why don't you make it so that you might be on time? Five minutes early. Sweet dog. Oh, I'm such a bad man. Yeah, what you got to do is bank transfer me one thousand eight hundred and fifty pounds, and you can have it. <laughs>
Engineer. <laughs> Plumber. <laughs> Plumber. Right, we're on the front then. Well, what's going on? He wants pictures, and they're like, well, shimmy bikes, do our pictures, get it done quickly. We'll start on the air, if you want to go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Third hole, oil straight into the sump, no oil pressure. That sounds alright, doesn't it? Running like a, a Swiss sewing machine, but. A Swiss watch. <laughs> yeah. Or a singer sewing or a machine. A singer sewing machine, yeah. Good old classic. Well, yeah. Is it in a running period now, I guess? You have to run it in. They don't give you any running in information. But yeah, it needs to be run in. They don't give you any run information. And they give they? you absolutely cockle, which is ridiculous. I've never had an engine supplied with nothing. No information. Just generally they'll stipulate new water pump, this cam belt, new cam belt. That's what you get for four grand. It's a lot of money though. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Better run up, check the leaks. My only concern is uh, the back end. The O-Rings, I'm hoping they'll be good because I'll be using these plates when I swap them over. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, go on then, if you make it one. Just for a second, just one second. Just got something else. Yeah, I'll say that that golf. She's uh, cars given up now, so if we could get them, they're brilliant. She's like starting to get antsy. Sorry about that, Karen. I have used it. Right. We'll do that and go from there. Yeah, I'll say Wages. Let's see what our lovely friends at the vehicle score have sent us. Shouldn't have opened this box wrong, but never mind. Oh, we got all the gear. This is cool. So, first and foremost. Vehicle school, that's heard it, you guys. The free vehicle school for your car. We've got coasters, mate. One for you and one for me. There you are. One for me over here. Oh, that was those. We've got stickers, mate. You love a sticker. You can get that on the roof of your uh, 
your uh, screen thing. And some little ones as well, so you can get them stuck on the old Mac. What have we got in here? Oh, this is cool. This is very nice. Of Nathan. This is the sort of thing you look forward to getting when you've reached 100,000 subscribers. I assume you can have one made. Look at that! How cool is that? Thank you very much, everyone at Vehicle Score. I thought I was going to be waiting at least another couple of weeks to get to 100,000 subscribers and get one of these from YouTube. That is cool. And now everyone will know that Vehicle Score very kindly bought this for me. I didn't buy it for myself out of vanity. Mm. I mean, we're not actually technically there yet. Oh, by the time this video comes out, surely. Surely. Steph's press. I can tell. <laughs> Like a walkie mirror, Joe. As long as you look in, it makes you thinner. Yeah, that's the type of mirror I need. Uh, what else is in there? Oh, vehicle squad mug. If we're lucky. Yeah. Look at that. It's nice. Plus, oh, and pen. Yeah, we've got all the gear in here. They really are looking after us. So now you can look forward to every time we do a vehicle score segment. I have my mug. My cap, pen behind my ear, sticker on my, one of my eyes as an eye patch. We got all the stuff. That is very sweet. So thank you everyone at Vehicle Score. If you are looking to check your car, it is the free car checking service. You can get a score from one to nine hundred ninety nine based on your car's MOT, its mileage and age, um, among many other factors. And if you need to do a proper history report on it before you hand over your hard-earned cash, and you can do that. And I highly recommend the Ultimate Report Plus, which is. 1197 I believe but don't you worry we've got you covered use my code shifting metal 20 you get 20% off and it's just nine pounds 58 thank you vehicle score I mean, it's clean, but we yeah. can't, obviously can't stay in it for days until that happens then, so we can get that out. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah. So if I put that in the scrapyard area, yeah, fine. That's all we've got. Put the van in here, we'll do the wheels. I mean, it's pretty fucking clean. It's certainly clean enough, really, for this, because we'll give it a jet over. But the main thing is the wheels and yeah. whatever on this van, and then we can plug it in while it's inside. Cool. Let's do it. It's annoying with a headlight on that uh, FO, because I bet you that's like 30, 40 quid. Really? I know the moral of it is we should do it, and obviously no, we will, but yeah, just, yeah. in reality, that's a serviceable yes, part. I mean, yeah. And we've it's, done um, bits and pieces. That's, you know, that's the job of it when we did the bonnet. He's open closed bonnets pretty much every day of his life, so it doesn't break that yeah. many headlights. Yeah, <laughs> fucking hell. How, how gently do you think people are able to close a bonnet? Or how hard do you think you can close a bonnet that's going to break an LED bulb? Oh, nice. You can slide it out, and then obviously you've got the USB next to it, so you can have a tablet up there if you want. It's probably oh, better, to be fair. You can connect your yeah. tablet to it. Well, so it's a year new over 10,000 miles, isn't it, I think? A little bit more than 10,000. The other one was on like 80-something, wasn't it, this one? Oh, yeah, you're right, wasn't it? Oh, it's still... So oh, that's right. I guess it would be more appealing without the racking. Potentially, yeah. Wait till maybe we see this, we'll be like, with no racking, and he'll be like, oh, oh, oh. I'll, I'll, have, I'll do it at the same price, like. Yeah, but you can do it and sell it. Because so if I do it cheaper, then you will be good. But I'll do it at the same price. Yeah. This one is fitted with a speed restrictor, I think. 70. Is that easy to remove it off? Mm, no, it all depends on the type. That's playing with the bulb out tablet holder.
Creek fire extinguisher that's been rolling around in the back. I don't know what it is, it's sticky slightly. I thought maybe it was like someone's gum or something. Then maybe I thought there was like a you know, fisherman used boilies or whatever. I thought that was it. Then I thought maybe it's chalk. I mean, it could be a rock solid carrot. <laughs> There's loads of it in here though. Why I'm touching it with my bare hands, I don't know. Oh, we've got a nice mat for the front. A remote control for something. What's that for? Solenoid, defrost, lights, fans. Oh, ah. Do you know what? It looks like there was a load of things. Oh, that's. Look, they've got one of our magnetic hooks. So I wonder if this was something to do with a supermarket because they are normally used at supermarkets. We had a big safe and it came with a load of those magnetic hooks that we use everywhere. They are like the strongest magnets in the world. Well, that wasn't that strong. Um, I reckon they've had something bolted at the back of this because there's little brackets and whatever. I reckon they had a little refrigeration unit and that's what that's for. Because you can defrost lights, fans, ACC probes. Cool. Oh, this one's got the uh, feature that when I bought mine, uh, Vivaro Vans, for. Uh, Betty heating services. Duncan's still got the small tea van which I bought and I got him one like this which is more of a basic one because I'm tight. And uh, the main reason I did was because of this feature but then when I realised that I bought him his cheaper one which I could have had myself it had the same feature as well. Look you've got paperwork, storage in here, you've got another cup holder, you can take your removal clipboard out and you can clip it in like that while you're driving, you can have your yeah, exactly. You can have your Mackie D's on there. <laughs> um, I mean, you could have your sheet of jobs. You can fold this thing out. Mine didn't have this one, but you have your tablet in there. Just li you could live in here, basically. Comes with a door pocket thing over there. So maybe it is frozen carrots. <laughs> and it came with, um, look, it came with its own supermarket magnetic hook. No way. That's been removed because it doesn't latch. Let's see if we can find another one of those. It probably gets in the way and you smack your shit on it. So we'll leave it. Yeah. Now, I was going to get involved with like spraying the wheels and stuff, but we could leave this for Monday when we could just check out our transit now. Oh, yeah. We've got another transit as well. Yeah, transit. This should be quite a nice one. Transit custom, custom. Nice. with uh, colour coded stuff. Look at colour coded bumpers. Oh, it's like a custom. Um, I was going to sort of start spraying wheels and whatever and that on that, yeah. see if you get pictures, but I don't know if you want to just take some basic. Yeah. A couple of well, you can use the online, the eBay one, uh, whatever one. Uh, I'll check I the other one out. Ones are they haven't got a huge amount to do, have they? I'm just about to have a look at the other one, so I've got the keys for it here. Oh, let's go then. Let's go yeah. and bring my tea. It's newer than I thought it would be for the price we're paying. I know. Oh, and it's got no damage on the back as well. <laughs> uh, so, what is it? It's just not been MOT, it's been off the road it's for a while. It's been sat for six months because he's got another car and it's on his parents' drive. And. Apparently, there's. Um, Suspension on, rear suspension. What's the train arm that goes on those, which he's got, and he's bringing it over when he brings his thing. And there was one, oh, the lack of here on the bumper. And that's it, I'm told. So it's been a bit switched in. Oh, yeah. So I've never seen it, actually. Yeah. Got, but it's good. Uh, it's all switched out, isn't it? Let me get James to have a look at it. Alloys. Why do they always yeah. make that crunchy noise? Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. my camper van one. That poor thing, is it? I don't know, I guess there. Oh, it's got cruise control and... What is it, a custom? Yeah, oh, so you've got a dash camera. 
a next place one as well. We are a next place stockist if you want a uh, task camera as good as that. One of those little TikTok light things. I was thinking with vans, because we've got a stash of next place things, where we offer like a half price, you know, say they cost us 100 quid, say 50 quid, you can have one. Or whether you just say every van you buy, you can have one or something. Is that the reverse end? The well, we, can use it you can do, camera. I think, yeah. Because that, yeah, that would be definitely a. Uh, my age is 116418. Yeah, we'll just get them onto it on Monday. It's not a lot for them to yeah, clean. It, won't take long, it yeah. shouldn't be it shouldn't take long. too much for them to do. Uh, can you unlock the back? Just we see what's. Uh, Did I not give the keys? Oh, uh, don't worry, I'll unlock it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, drill bit. Oh, HSS bit. It's got a rubber floor. Oh. Bloody noise, mate. One eternity later. Eventually, you can't. That's how it latches on most. Oh, oh, this one doesn't latch. Maybe that one's just a bit worn out. You have to pull that thing out in order to do it. You know, sometimes you want to get something. I got a load of abuse. Not a load of abuse, but a few people. We had a meeting the other day, and I said I want to move the balloters into the thingy. And oh, yeah. like, oh, they were like, that. And I was like, balloon, yeah. I was like, what's that? What's happening? Yeah. People are like, oh, that's not a very nice way to talk to your employees and whatever. And I was like. Oh, you, haven't, you haven't worked in the business, you haven't seen me bend over backwards for everyone yeah. and it not work. Every once in a while you have to put your foot down. But either way, I find it managed how to uh, shoot a coat with shit as far as Momi Stefan is. He's saying, oh, I don't want, because I said about putting the ballot is in the far end. Um, and he's like, oh, what the fuck do you want that? Whatever. I was like, yeah, yeah. what I'll do then is I'm going to have a couple of cars in the showroom and I'm going to put a couple of nice chairs in there and an oil drum or whatever and you can sit and have your lunch out there so you haven't got to sit where the customers are walking in and yeah. asking you to do stuff where you're trying to... Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. You know at the end where we've got the tyre rack up against the end wall? Yeah. I was going to stick them in there basically because that actual end door is wider than the next one over which is where I was going to have them. Okay. So I moved the tyre rack over as like a divider and then, yeah. then Mark was left. Yeah. And I think the way it might go is I'm going to say to jo uh, um, Josh that he's got... He wants to go off and do it on his own and see how he can start up. He can borrow the truck or rent it or whatever. But I can't pay him one thing. We're not profitable, though. Right? Well, not when he's not booking jobs and no. he's not finding jobs and he's yeah, not no, organising anything and whatever. If Especially if he was, I can get him work. I can yeah. get out of business. But I can't, if I can't re rely on him to sort it out, I don't, I'm not yeah, organising it it's, and then paying him good money for it. If it's when it's a situation where you kind of get a bit of impetus and then kind of picks up, and then when you need more loads of advice, it drops back down again. It's the same with Jordan with the van. It's like if I give you something and you, you need to run with it, and you don't, it. Yeah. then I'm not doing it for you and paying you a princely sum for it. Yeah, you're doing the work. Hard, yeah. So you know, what we can end up with Macaulay doing our driving slash in between balloting and as and when we need it. Yeah. Seems so like the more logical. Need we don't need a full-time driver, that we need two full-time balancers, but you know, he can do every morning do the one MOT run that we've got. That's a good point actually, yeah. without, especially without the running about for customers. He can do that. He, we can, we can, I, well, I can book him as and when I want him to do collections, cars, walk more, deliveries, and it's all under my control, not where the fuck are they, what yeah. are they doing? Yeah. But yes, so that's the plan. All ones are always mate. Right, so the end of the week is on us again. It's Saturday. It's actually the sun's out. All of my seasonal depression is, well, it's not gone, but you know, it's starting to thaw out a little bit. Just have a bit of sunshine out. It's been miserable, wasn't it? So that's nice. But we need to do a best car bought and best car sold. Now, I could say best car bought slash rejected to me is my Porsche 911 Carrera 2S because she's goddamn gorgeous. Uh, but it wasn't really a purchase. It was a, a kind of forced purchase. I'm still working on that. If you haven't seen that video, it should be out by now. That'll be up here. And yeah, you can find out what happened with that. Why have I got that back? 
after a year, um, thanks to a finance company who just a bit daft really. They've lost all my business now. But what have we bought? We've bought quite a few vans. I'm loving my vans at the minute. Um, I feel like you get really good value with vans and I mean, I've only sold one of them out of about eight. Don't laugh. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to try a few vans. We'll have them at the farm. So we can store them out there. So that's, I'm quite liking the uh, Ford Transit Custom I've bought. But what I can't beat as far as purchases go, this is what Jason's bought this morning. This a blue RBAR 595. I'll tell you what, I can't even remember what the mileage is on it. I wonder if we can see. No. It looks like it's been owned by a Valata because it's got stickers all over it. There's a sticker on the centre of the thing there. There's a sticker on the door handle over there. And I know it's looking looking from the other side. There's a monster energy sticker in the in the thing. Our Bath customers do seem to love a sticker. I have to say, we were auctioning the other day with Chops and I was pointing out, they always get these little scorpion stickers and put them everywhere. Please don't. Don't do it. It just doesn't do anything good for your paint. Anyway, uh, 16 plate. It's a nice, I mean, wow, it is quite a nice blue. You might refer to this as Doom Blue. You might have heard Chops Garage talking about that before. This kind of dark blue flat in the trade, we call it Doom Blue because it's not necessarily all that appealing, but I don't know. It's actually quite, it is quite nice. I think cleaned up, that's going to look good. And we can add it to our yellow and what other colour have we got, Toby? A red one. Yellow, red and blue. And we found out that that makes up the colours of the flag for Chad wherever Chad is. So if you are a Chad, come on down. We've got all three cars for you. That we only paid £3,000 for. It has been off the road for six months or so. I think it's out of MOT. It needs a rear suspension arm. I should do a High Peaks Auto, I bought a cheap type thing. Uh, maybe I will. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments. Not that I want to copy High Peak. Everyone tells me I do anyway. But, you know, if you'll enjoy it, then I'll... I'll do it. I'm, I'm a people pleaser. What can I say? I've got a lovely Avio come back because the Focus ST has now gone back to its customer. It's got to come back for a little bit of paint uh, that we had touched up and it kind of wasn't perfect. So we're going to do that again. But the engine's in, that's gone. So now we've got a why you wanted to swap back from that Chevrolet <laughs> Avio that's just gone past. God knows. I'd, honestly, I'd rather have that at this point. Um, but yeah, I won't go around everything because I feel like we ought to do an updated garage tour. Um, maybe that'll be out in the next coming weeks. Let me know if you want to see that. I mean, it's not going to make any difference, probably, what you say, because we'll film it anyway by the time this comes out. And we will uh, get it out, but I don't know. I guess it'll stroke my ego if you say you really want to see it, and then I make it. Um, at the time of filming this, we are on an unbelievable 49,960 or something subscribers, so Unless something drastically goes wrong, by the time this comes out in a week's time, because if you don't know, we film these a week in arrears, in your ears, um, we should be over 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. Blows my mind, really. And I did say that I would do a kind of q and I might even do a live Q&A uh, at 50,000 subscribers. So I think I'll put something up on my Instagram because you can put a thing up there and it's like, ask me a question, then I'll have just like a, like a nice little format of questions. So if you don't follow me on Instagram already, head over there and search for shifting underscore metal, you will find me. And keep an eye out for a story going out or a post or something, I don't know, Toby will do the computer stuff. And we will get you to put your questions in there. So there's anyone who asked me about how I started out, how, you know, whatever. What cars do I like? What cars don't I like? What kind of shampoo do I use? How do I get my hair looking this full and, you know, amazing? It's good, all good questions. So get them in and I will sit down and do a live or something and go through and answer all of them. Try and keep them fairly clean. I know a lot of you have got your mind in the gutter, but keep them fairly PG if you can. And uh, yeah, we'll sit down and go through that. But that will be it for this week. Thank you, as always, for watching, subscribing, being wonderful people, and we will see you next week. Goodbye.